In this video, we will talk about clash detection or clash detection analysis. When you create your collaboration or combination models, you do that because you want to check if your objects are built collision-free, meaning that they will not touch with each other. Because big projects are made by several parties, you get loads of data, different partners to have responsibilities in different areas. For example, some partners take responsibilities laying down pipes, but some do and build structures, bridges, buildings, and then there are other parties who build road corridors. When we use VDC Explorer, we can combine all that data into data-rich model and then we can easily carry out clash detection analysis. In VDC Explorer, we use Analyze and Clash Detection tool. If you click on that, you can see a separate palette called Clash Detection. In this model, we have picked different groups what we want to check, it can be easily done using plus or minus buttons. And you simply select groups you want to include into clash detection analysis. Quite often, when you carry out your clash detection analysis, you will see hundreds if not thousands of different collisions. And it's pretty hard to understand or filter what clashes are more important and what you can ignore. Or let's say you can find a solution at construction site because it can be easily handled or changed. In VDC Explorer, we will see that we have a value-based clash detection analysis. When I pick a group properties, I can see a separate column called value. I can include a value, a number to different groups or objects, meaning that, for example, when a collision with that group is really important and we should avoid it at early stages, it has a higher value. It may also show some cost values, meaning that for that kind of collisions, you need that amount of money to resolve it. But you can also easily take those values also as a leaderboard, meaning that if you have a higher value, let's say two times higher than the other, it is also more critical clash or collision. When we normally do clash detection analysis, we want to see if objects are colliding with each other, or maybe we want to also ensure that some objects do have safe tolerance. We usually call those different analyses hard and soft clash detections. In VDC Explorer, you can easily add those tolerance values into different groups. If you have defined values and tolerances, you can run your clash detection analysis using calculate button. And after some time, you will see a classical clash results table. But keep in mind that VDC Explorer gives you additional possibility to order your clashes based on values. In other words, it's a value-based clash detection. As such, you will pick, for example, a clash that has higher value. You click on that line and you will be immediately directed to that model part. When having a closer look to your clash, you have different possibilities to isolate or to see your clash more clearly. As we zoom out, we can see that we have a bridge support structure. To have much better picture what is happening down below, we can pick show only selected groups and we can easily see that the clash is between bridge, slab and a pipe. Of course, in those situations, we want to resolve those issues as early as possible. Therefore, we usually create a topic and then deliver this message using collaboration tools to responsible parties. You create a topic really easily, just clicking on button create topic. Then you go to your topic list and you can see your clash in here. If you double click on it, you can add a comment, for example, asking an engineer to find solution, perhaps to shift a pipe a little bit to the left hand side. You can save your message and then you can use collaboration tools and synchronize your topics to other parties who can download those comments into same models. 
using VDC Explorer software package. After carrying out your clash detection analysis, creating topics, and perhaps you also get a new model file where that pipe has been shifted. You can carry out again a new clash detection analysis and thereafter you probably don't see a clash anymore. But you can also define what is the status of that particular clash using resolution value, for example, waiting, valid, invalid or resolved. Using those additional values, you have again another possibility to filter your clashes and paying attention only to those clashes that are not yet resolved.